What's going on guys, it's Shiv, I'm back here with another video for you guys today. And today guys, I'm going to be talking about the limited, we finally got that pink diamond Ralph Sampson guys. I'm going to be going through everything about how you guys got, how to get him. Basically just going through limited for the rest of 2k and everything like that, the next season and all that. The current season reward, any challenges and stuff like that guys. Limited journey, episode 6 I think this is, yeah it's episode 6 or week 6 of 2k21. So yeah, I'm going to go through all of that guys, the lineup to use and everything, the lineup that I use to win. And some tips. I know there's only like a uh, one day left. It's going to come out. Um, I'm filming this like a little bit earlier. I'm going to release this on Sunday. But yeah, it's going to come out soon, guys. So right here, Limited Journey, Episode 6. Like up the video if you guys like this series. Subscribe if you're new. As always, we're on the road to 2,000 subs. We did finish and get the reward for Season 1. But I'm going to continue to make this a series throughout the next season and stuff like that, guys. So yeah, stay tuned for all these videos, guys. Let's get right into it. I'm going to show you guys how I got my 6th ring and got this pink diamond Ralph Sampson. Let's go. All right, guys. So this guy really had, was not really a matchup for me at all. Like, he really couldn't keep up with me. Right there, I missed that 3 with Curry. But he, I think he was going for a drive. Then he pulled up with Patty Mills. He did not mean to pull up. And then he left the match. So we'll take that right away. And I think right before this game, I got a ring. I had an opportunity at a ring. I went to the right side instead of the left and I missed it. If you guys don't know how limited works, how the rewards work and all that, you'll see in a little bit once we get back to the main screen. But right here, I missed this ring in the game right before this. And then this ring, I was this time, I mean, I was hoping to have a chance at another ring. So I was really hoping for it. This loading screen really takes way too long. 2K, you got to fix that too. You got a lot of things to fix, especially after that 250K tournament today. But yeah, right here, we opened up the middle. We got the ring right away. Let's go. Give me some W's in the comments for that right there. We got that ring right there, our sixth ring. And you know what that means. Once you get six rings, we press the X button right there. We claim our ring and then you see the reward for that pink diamond ralph sampson give me some more w's let's go guys we got that ralph sampson i'm gonna open up this pack because i want to see this pink diamond glow bro honestly when the pink diamond show up in packs this year it's crazy it looks like a crazy glow right here let's open up this pink diamond ralph sampson pack he's like a 7-4 center which is super solid again for the beginning of the game right there look at that little tornado right there but yeah right here ralph sampson he's honestly like one of the better cards you guys could use earlier in the game right now three two one cue up that music All right, guys. So, yeah, there you saw it. We got our sixth ring this week. Finally, we got this Ralph Sampson. It feels like it was such a long grind, even though it was literally just playing, like, a couple a couple games each weekend, honestly. And I got pretty lucky with my rings. Like, if you guys see right here, I didn't even play this 100 limited, ga 100 limited games. I didn't even get the 1,500 XP reward. Only 53 games, and I got six rings. So, that means I basically played around less than around less than nine games, I guess, per week, and I got one ring. So, that'll, that'll be pretty cool moving forward to see how that changes throughout the year. First season, I got, like, nine games per week to get that ring. So, I'll take that. I know the first week, I had to play like 20, 20 plus games, which is unfortunate. And then I got the next five rings over like 30 games or so. So that was pretty cool, guys. And right here, I'll show you guys my lineup that I used for this weekend. Yeah, right here. So here's the lineup I use. Honestly, I only use the Clay and Pal Gasol from the new set that just came out. I saw a lot of people running like basically with all those players that came out this weekend. But yeah, Clay Thompson, Pal Gasol. Obviously, I had to run that Curry. If you guys don't got this Curry yet, honestly, I'd recommend that uh, Amethyst Steph Curry. He's pretty solid for this position too. I saw a lot of people running that. Boris Dial, for sure, a really good budget player for you guys to use. Shaq, honestly, I was using people were using Robert Parrish, which is two. Like those are two like budget players too. If you guys got Shaq, I would recommend to use him. He's like super solid to use down low. He can get rebounds and blocks and all of that. Willis Reed again, you could use him. To be honest, guys, I didn't even use my bench that much. Sometimes I'll put in Earl Monroe if Curry was tired, just for some nice rim running, because that's what Earl Monroe is used for. You guys could also use, like, what, Fat Lever? No, no, he's not. Uh, we got Dennis Johnson. He's not a bad rim runner you guys could use. Darren Williams, I don't think you could use him. Patty Mills, I saw some people running. Casey Jones, those are all totally, like, cards that you could use. Kyle Lowry, he got that ring last year. So all of those cards are pretty solid for the point guard position, guys. But yeah, these budget cards are totally fine to use. Michael Cooper, Clay Thompson, Bailey Howell. Boris out using all of those cards, guys, for my team limited this weekend, I would 100% recommend. Usually, guys, you know I show one limited lineup and then one, like, sort of budget lineup. But again, these cards can honestly just keep being switched out. Pau Gasol is pretty cheap. Steph, you can just use the Amethyst version of his card. So, again, yeah, this is the lineup I use, guys. Let me know your guys' lineups. Send me those over or whatever in the comments if you guys want. But yeah, these are the lineups I use. So this is the lineup I got right now. And then in terms of challenges, guys, right now, if you guys are still going for that Steph, 
We didn't have any limited challenges, I think, this week. I haven't really been keeping up with challenges since I got Seth. You guys see, I'm literally at like 150,000. I haven't done anything yet. So again, we got some new challenges for the cars that recently came out on Friday and Tuesday this week. Make sure you're doing those if you guys want to get XP for Steph. Again, Steph is probably one of the best players you guys could use in limited um, this weekend. Just because he's got that ring and he's a pink time. And probably one of the best cars in this game for a while now. So yeah, I'll continue to say, use that Steph. Keep doing these challenges, daily challenges and all of that. And yeah, I haven't even done these week six challenges. I don't know. I've, I told you guys, I've really not been paying attention to challenges. But I don't think there are any limited challenges. We did get that like a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, limited challenges. Stay on the lookout for that, I guess, guys. But yeah, limited right here. This is the last one. Six rings right there. We're going to see what the prize is next um, next season, guys, which is coming up. What? Look at the top left now. Six days. We got six days now till the, till the next season. A new reward. We're going to start the limited grind for that limited journey now. I guess episode seven on that. So yeah, this is episode six, guys. We're going to start that new sort of series into season two. Stay tuned for that. Probably an Opal reward. I'm not even going to be surprised. We got a pink diamond in season one. So probably a Galaxy Opal reward, guys. Right now, the only Galaxy Opal you probably can get is this Elgin Baylor right here. So if you guys see right here, Domination. This Elgin Baylor, you can Evo him to a Galaxy Opal. So that's really the only Galaxy Opal we have in the game right now, guys, is Elgin Baylor. But other than that, yeah, limited right here. If you guys don't have all six rings, what you can do is basically go for that 25 tokens if you miss one week or so on. If you miss two weeks, that Hall of Fame badge, diamond shoot, three rings, all of that, guys. So make sure even if you don't have any rings, get that one ring, get that free pack. Might as well. You just got to play on a couple of games with some pretty fun players. I'm not even going to lie. Like this game mode is fun if you're not just hunting for the ring. It's probably like the most fun playing this game in this game mode just because there's not as many sweats. Everyone has like the same like sort of playing conditions like on Unlimited. It's a lot more sweaty. Like right now I'm in Pink Diamond tier. I'm even scared to play games. You guys see I haven't played that many games. It's like every game really matters. Everyone's trying their hardest. Everyone is sweating. So yeah, I, I got to finish this up in the next six days. I got what? Seven games here. 12 games in the Galaxy Opal, Opal tier. So yeah, stay tuned for Unlimited. Limited, I mean. Limited next um, season, guys. We got a, hopefully a Galaxy Opal reward. Hope you guys really enjoy this video. Here's my lineup one more time in case you guys did not see. Here's my lineup that I use. Hope you guys really enjoy this. Hit that like button. Let's see if we can get a quick 10 likes on the video. Subscribe if you're new as always, guys. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'm out. Peace.